Okay, so you bought one of the fastest CPUs in the world, the Ryzen 7 7800X3D. However, you want more out of it, more performance, more FPS, or maybe you want to lower the already good power consumption and make it run a bit cooler. Well, in all these cases, this is the right video for you. And now today we're going to actually take a look at how to do all of these with two presets. So the first preset is going to be the higher performance one, dynamic one, mostly meant for gaming. And then the second one is going to be the preset meant for productivity and actually the lowest possible power consumption, temperature, etc. Now, little disclaimer, this tutorial is actually going to work for every X3D chip of the 7000 series. So the Ryzen 9 7900 X3D and even the Ryzen 9 7950 X3D. Now, another little disclaimer, today we're doing this undervolt on this wooden PC, which I've built on the channel in case you're interested, but we are doing the undervolt on a Biostar motherboard. Now, these motherboards are not so common, but no worries because the procedure and the numbers are going to be the exact same for every motherboard out there, be it a B650, an X670, even an A620, which we've covered on the channel. But the naming is going to be a little different if you have an ASUS, an MSI, a Gigabyte or an ASRock BIOS. So how can you understand the naming? Well, first of all, I will try to say a few different names for every setting to make it simpler. If you go in my CPU undervolting playlist, I actually have a video with different CPUs, but still AMD Ryzen 7000. So I have the 7700X, 7900X and 7950X, and we have pretty much every brand covered there. So the Gigabyte is in the 7700X, the MSI is in the 7900X, and ASRock is on the 7950X. So if you cross-reference with those videos, you will for sure understand how to do this properly. So sorry for the long intro, let's get started. But before, promise me one thing, if this thing ends up working very well for you and it improves your day-to-day -day experience, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel as it really helps me. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in the BIOS now again. Biostar has a very unique, I want to say BIOS, but thankfully the options we're going to play around with are all in the same space in every motherboard. So you want to go to advanced and then you will find something that's called AMD overclocking. Now it might be a bit hidden in those options, but it will be there, AMD overclocking. So now you want to hit enter over there and now hit accept. It's basically telling that your PC is going to burn. No, I'm kidding. This tutorial is safe, but basically now we're going to do the first dynamic profile. Then we're going to do the static one later on. You want to go into precision boost overdrive and then in here, precision boost overdrive, you can select the mode and we want to select enhancement. However, uh, depending on the board, this might be called advanced. Here advanced is not the right one because it should give you like a thermal limit and that's what we want to change. Okay, so now what this do and how to set it. So we want to set it to 80. So I'm going to give you a preset and then I'm going to tell you how to improve it. Set it to 8 if you, if you just want to copy my settings, but if you want to play around with this, this is basically the target at which the CPU is maximum allowed to reach. Now, no worries, this is not losing us performance because we are then going to undervolt it with a curve, so it doesn't matter. But basically, the higher, the better in terms of uh, how much it can push. However, uh, if you push it higher, you will degrade the CPU a bit faster, the PC will be a bit noisier, you will have a bit more heat. So in general, you want this at 80, trust me. But you can play around with it. You can also put 85 and you can also put 90, but I recommend 80. Now we want to go in Curve Optimizer. Be careful, not GFX Curve Optimizer because that's the graphic card integrated in the CPU. So we don't care about that. So Curve Optimizer. And now here we want to put all cores because we are setting a single optimization for all the cores in our CPU. And now we want to go and put negative and we want to put 20. So minus 20. Now this is basically applying an offset to the frequency. It's not as simple, but we will call it that. So how can you modify this to be better for yourself? Pretty simple. So the lower this number, if it's stable, the better. But the lower the number, the harder it is to be stable. Now it is a negative number. So uh, in short, the higher the number if it makes sense so for example if we put 30 and this will work on many cpus the cpu is going to run even better but on many cpus if we put 30 the pc is going to crash so i recommend you guys put 20 and if it crashes you guys put 10 okay trust me on this one with tutorials like these you then want to go into windows run a proper stress test and check if everything is running properly but if you just want to copy it put 20 for most cpus it's going to be fine and at this point you can actually just save the settings, hit F10, save it, 
and close it if you just want to do the dynamic version. But let's now move forward into the static version. So before moving into the static, you then want to, of course, just uh, you don't want to do any of these. So you just want to do the static. So you want to, for example, restore the faults and put everything back to normal. And then we can start with the static. Now, the static ones is done in the tweaker section, which might be called AI tweaker, overclocking, tuning, something like that. But here it's called tweaker. Now, in this BIOS, surprisingly, there is no option to actually set a multiplier, which is what it's called, okay, multiplier. So um, in our tweaker section, we cannot just overclock the CPU. We can just set a voltage. So I will still show you how to do it. So if you have a normal BIOS, you want to put your CPU clock multipliers. It's called the CPU ratio. Again, double check with my other tutorials to 48, okay, 48. And then if it crashes, you want to put 47. And if you want more, you can put 49. Okay, then you can try it out. But if you want to just copy it, put 48. Here we don't have it. Then you want to go and find your CPU core voltage. Now in this motherboard, it's called SOC voltage, but it's called core voltage on normal motherboards. Okay, <laughs> so CPU core voltage, you want to put it into override. And now you can just input your value and you want to put 1.2 volts. Okay, now this, you can also do this without changing the multiplier like we've done here today. And if you do this, the CPU is going to run at like 4.7, which is still good because you're still getting the power benefits, but you're not getting more performance if you do this, uh, if you don't change the core clock, if it makes sense. So here again, the lower you go with the voltage, the lower your temperature is going to be, uh, the lower your power limits are going to be sustained. It's going to be just overall better, but it's going to decrease the stability. So if you're very lucky, you might be able to get away with 1.175. But uh, so far, with all the CPUs I tested, I have not been able to get 1.15 stable. Now, if you want to go higher because you want to push more clocks, you want to push like 49 or 50 on the CPU core clock, you can go all the way up to 1.25. Uh, but I wouldn't go higher because again, this CPU has the 3 dv cache stuck on top of it. And that means that it's a bit uh, more sensible, let's say. So you don't want to push this too much. 1.225 would be the maximum I feel rec recommending, but the sweet spot is 1.2, 4.8 gigahertz, and it's going to run perfectly fine. And this is the end of the tutorial, guys. So if it was helpful, please remember your promise and drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Maybe drop a comment. Also, if you have any issues, please drop a comment. And again, if you want to see any more of my videos, check out the channel. We have cool builds like the wooden one you saw in the intro and uh, much more. So see you in the next one, guys. Hopefully, goodbye.